To some, Wii Sports is just a simple tech thing, but I am here to prove those people wrong. Welcome to the second episode of Wii Sports Facts and Glitches. To start off, I am once again going to talk about version differences. I explained this more in depth in the first episode of the series, but if you haven't seen that yet, I would recommend watching that episode first, then coming back to this one. A simple way to figure out what version of Wii Sports you have is to check the A plus B select screen when you first load up the game. Version 1.0 has a copyright year of 2006, while version 1.0 has a copyright date of 2007. Version 1.01 also has a jacket on the Wiimote, while version 1.0 does not, due to the Wiimote jacket simply not existing during its development. Version 1.01 added many new cutscenes to the game, including the lineup cutscene in baseball, An animation showing a me throwing somebody out at first on a ground out. You're out. And a replay cutscene after a round of boxing. Along with version differences, there is also a lot of regional differences in Wii Sports. On the NTSC version in bowling, there is something that can happen known as a lag strike. This happens when you get a strike at the same time as one of the other Mii's. A very rare occurrence, but causes a strike to be about 1-2 to two seconds slower than normal. However, on the Japanese version of the game, for some weird reason, it has not been noticed to be possible. This is a main reason why some runners will play on the Japanese version of the game for bowling speedruns if they have the ability to pick up a copy of this version without spending an arm and a leg. Staying on the same side of the world, the Korean, Taiwanese, and Japanese versions of the game offer different, simpler voice lines in baseball. A triple was turned into three base hit. A double was turned into two base hit. Ground rule doubles, funnily enough, was turned into entitled two base. Walks were turned into four ball. Yeah, it's pretty weird at least if you're somewhat familiar with baseball. Another weird thing that I want to bring up is how cursed the time voice line is on the Japanese, Korean, and Taiwanese version of the game. TIME! Now, this wasn't altered by me or anybody else. It sort of just sounds like the normal time voice line just slightly slowed down. TIME! It's cursed. Golf also includes different voice lines on these versions of the game. The double eagle voice line in the game was replaced with ALBATROSS, as that's how they call a minus three in that region. However, slightly weirder is the different line for nice birdie. NICE BIRDIE! NICE BIRDIE! As you can see, the US version has a greater inflection on the nigh part, while the Japanese version has a greater inflection on the burr part of it. I'll play it back one more time so you guys can hear the difference. NICE BIRDIE! Nice birdie! It's definitely an interesting change, and I'm honestly completely stumped as to why they would change this voice line ever so slightly for just three versions of the game. While on the topic of voice lines, there are a few unused voice lines in the game. In the game's files, there are voice lines for double play and triple play. Double play! Triple play! This seems to prove that at one point, the developers are planning on making the baseball we know from Wii Sports much more complex and more complicated. However, due to time, money, or some other reason, this didn't end up panning out like so. While I love the current way that baseball plays, it does leave me wanting to know how the more complex versions might have played out as well, but sadly, we will never know. There could have been other voice lines that have been recorded for additional sports or other versions of sports, but none left in the game files. I sometimes wonder what the original plan was for Wii Sports. There are four unused golf courses left in the game's files. The first one is titled GLF underscore course underscore E3 dot C-A-R-C. This course was used to show off the golf game at E3 in 2006 when Wii Sports was first shown. Nice 
nice approach. Hole in one. This course was used to show off the golf game at E3 in 2006 when Wii Sports was first shown. However, it was still left in the game's file when released. Funnily enough, the out of bounds area in the version of the course in the files is not present in the E3 minimap. This could be due to the function for out of bounds areas not being complete until after this course was shown off at E3. The second unused golf course is titled GLF underscore course underscore angle dot C-A-R-C. This course was made so that testers of the game could play with how slopes work in different angles to optimize the physics of the game. This course also has a pin like the E3 course does, but no actual hole for the ball to go into for some reason. Nice approach! The third unused golf course is titled GLF underscore course underscore FC18.CARC. This is a remake of Hole 18 from the Famicom game Golf from 1984. Many of the holes in Wii Sports were copied or inspired by holes in the original Famicom game, so it doesn't really surprise me that this would have been made. However, different from other remakes is the looks of this course. This was made using the old textures seen at E3 before the final versions of the textures were made. Sadly, this remake was never finished. You can play this using some magic if you remove some trees to avoid crashing. The fourth and last unused golf course is titled GLF underscore course underscore survey dot C-A-R-C. This course is very similar to a driving range with the ground being marked with the distance from the center of the circle, and it is speculated that this was going to be used for some potential training game but nothing was ever made out of it. Now there is a surprising amount of unused data in Wii Sports, and while I won't talk about all of it in this episode, I will try my best to show you my favorite ones. For example, did you know that we were originally going to be able to bunt in baseball? Left in the Files is an animation for a me bunting, and it looks so funny. I would ask why they ended up removing this animation from the game, but I understand fully. I'm going to be having nightmares about Mii's knees for weeks now. Additionally, there was an older swinging animation that swung significantly faster than the current swinging animation we have right now. I'm unsure if that made the ball go farther when hitting it, but it sounds like fun regardless. Would also make getting the hitting home runs platinum medal, you know, enjoyable. No! And I think that's pretty neat. But the neatest thing is all of you guys that stayed to the end of this episode, trust me, I appreciate you. Anyways, I will see you in the next episode of Facts and Glitches, and who knows, it may even be on a different game. And if you have any cool information that you would like to see on this series, leave a comment below or join my Discord as I have a whole channel dedicated to documenting all the cool things in this 15-year-old game. Thanks for watching.